do an educational video. We want to talk about liquidation, help educate people. There's a lot of people getting taken advantage of in the liquidation market, so we're going to start an educational series, talk about some loads, go through some pallets of different loads we get in. Uh, we're going to start today with Target. Target comes in a variety of different loads. Um, you can get Target baby corded, you can get Target furniture, you can get new Target that's fully manifested loads, you can get Target case pack loads, which is all brand new merchandise, and then you can get Target roll and process. We bring a lot of Target roll and process in our warehouse. Um, this is a Target roll and process pallet. Most of them are five, five foot, six foot tall. Anything and everything can be on that load from electronics to clothing to baby to toys to health and beauty to makeup, it doesn't matter. Um, what happens is, you get people that'll sell these Target 26 pallet and call them raw and processed. They're not really raw and processed because what they do is they get them into their third party reclamation centers. They'll go through it, they'll pull the electronics. Let's say a pallet has six inches of pot. They'll pull five of them off and leave you one. They'll go through the boxes real quick, pull out anything they can see, high dollar, high value, add two pallets on a load and call it a 26 pallet load. Target raw and processed 26 pallet load. That's not a true raw and processed load versus what we get in. What we get in is 24 pallets. It's always going to be 24 pallets. It's directly from the DC to the facility, a reclamation center that the contract holder has, and then from him to us. The main thing we're gonna talk about today is a target raw and process load. We have, we have these loads all the time. If you're buying a truckload, be careful after holidays. And, here, and the reason being is, as soon as the holidays are over, Target will pull their shelf pulls. I tell my customers, you know, I don't bring Target in four to six weeks after a holiday. And the reason being is because it gets time to get the shelf pulls through the system and you're not getting a lot of holiday stuff. It's great if you can store it, you're gonna make a lot of money, but if you come in and you buy a Target, you know, Target raw and process load right after holiday, you know, your supplier gets a new load in and he's got Target there and it's two weeks after Easter, chances are that load is going to be heavy in Easter shelf pulls. It's going to be new stuff, but it's going to be shelf pulls. Um, so that's why we don't bring them in right after holidays. You're going to see salvage stickers on Target. That doesn't mean it's broken salvage. That's Target's word for liquidation. That's all that word means at Target. Bed Bath & Beyond uses the word donation. Target uses salvage. These Sterilite boxes, you're going to see a lot of these on Target. It's not the plastic containers. Everybody thinks it's plastic containers. Target uses these Sterilite boxes and these brown boxes, and they throw anything and everything in. Video game systems, clothes, health and beauty. You got a lot of soft goods at Target. You get furniture, medicines, hairspray, electronics, toys, clothes. This is gonna be a mystery box. It can contain 200, 300 different SKUs. It can contain 10 SKUs. It can contain one SKU. It's gonna be random. Anything that's in that store will be on these loads. These are great for any type of reseller. Great sellers applies to every market. Everybody loves Target. All right, so we're gonna break down this pallet. I'll show you what to expect on a Target roll-in process. Every pallet's different. They're unmanifested, so it's a crap shoot. But they're good pallets. Sometimes you'll see these placards on them. These placards are from the contract holder. Target will put these on there with the contract holder's name. You may or may not see them on a the pallet. If you don't see them on a the pallet, it doesn't mean that they're not legit. It just means that whoever got the pallet ripped them all off. So let's cut this pallet open and get started. So you're gonna get rugs on, rugs on it. You guys know what rugs are. Everybody knows what rugs are. You're gonna get rugs on it. Um, I'll tell you what you do. On your phone, when you start looking up prices and that kind of stuff, the easiest thing to do is download the app. No matter whatever liquidation pallet you're buying, download the app to that store. So if you buy a Target pallet, download the Target app. If you buy a Bed Bath & Beyond pallet, download the Bed Bath & Beyond app. Same with Home Depot. Because um, then a lot of stuff will have UPCs on it, you'll just be able to scan it and you'll be able to see the price the store is selling it for. So you're going to get rugs, sometimes you get rugs, most of the rugs are going to be new, just take a look at it, you know, all your product, just, just verify your products either new, used, and sell it accordingly. Comforter sets, and here's an example, I'll scan, I'll scan one or two items we'll doing this video just to show you guys. Um, you can go to the Target app, barcode, it's got a nice little barcode scanner on it. You can scan the barcode on it and it comes up. $89. It's an $89 item in the store. You know, if we were breaking a pallet down, you know, we look at the condition, probably take it out, take a look at it. That's something we probably sell for 40, 50 bucks. Here's a good item right here. Espresso machine. So these things are usually pretty expensive. Uh, let's see what this one costs. So these are like a hundred bucks. This is probably an item where if it's new, you can probably sell it for the upper tier of 80. Um, this kind of stuff holds its value. Um, look at it, that's brand new in the box. So there's an $80 item. Right on the pallet, you can clearly see what it was. Espresso machine. Diapers, you're gonna get baby baby stuff on it. Um, Target has a load I mentioned in the beginning of the video, baby corded. Um, that load is gonna be predominantly a lot of baby, but you are gonna get baby on regular Target raw and process loads. This is a box damage, so it never even hit the shelf, went straight to the liquidation pallets. Curtain rods. These are predominant on Target. You can get a lot of curtain rods. 
here's a little kitchen set. T falls pot and pan set. This set's gonna be brand new. Still in a still in a cardboard. Threshold. So you're gonna see a lot of stuff marked threshold on Target. Threshold is Target branded product. Sort of like Amazon has Amazon Basics. Um, Walmart has mainstays. Target, their brand is Threshold. You're gonna see a lot of Threshold boxes like this that are furniture are 90% of the time gonna be furniture in these boxes. All right, so here we go. We got a mystery box. Our first mystery box. Like I said, these things can have anything and everything in them. Like I said, variety. Target has a great variety of products. You got your little plastic organizers. You got, what's this, a Philips Sonicare. It's an open box. It's still new. It's just open box. Um, you got some candy mixed in. Clothes. You're going to get clothes in Target. So if you don't like clothes, stay away from Target. The Target is going to have clothes. Um, you got little bathing suit sets. You're going to get shoes on it. Um, here's a soft good bath mat. Some kind of petty electronic foot file. So if you got rough feet, you're related to an alligator. These things come in handy. A um, little picture set right there. You got your clothes. You got some more clothes. You got your underwear, clothes, sports bras. You got pajama sets. Got a little tumbler. You got, what is this? Sugar scrub, some kind of raw coconut, mango, oh, some for your hair, and padlocks. So that small box had about eight to nine different categories just in that box. Wide variety. Our first big stair light box. This box, let's see what we got. So you got your clothes in the box, curtain sets, more curtain sets. We got some toys mixed in, you got your pair of shoes, you got your hangers, shower liners, you got some shampoo. Here's a good uh, product right here. This is a uh, Walls grooming product. So this one right here is $39.99 Target right there. I'm not gonna pull this above the table, but this is a uh, entertainment, Room Essentials entertainment stand for TV. See some Legos. Harry Potter Lego set, there you go. So like I said, you get good stuff out of these boxes. $69.99, dance floor backpack. Um, here's a good font. Cell phone. Samsung 851, let's see here. Open box, brand new. $399.99 on Target. Right here, brand new cell phone, new open box. You can sell that as new open box. And probably, you'd have to check the prices online, but I'd still probably say get 300 bucks out of that cell phone right there. We usually charge $650 a pallet on these. Um, you buy multiple pallets, we give you a bigger discount. So if you were to buy a single pallet, $650, you're already uh, like $400 on two items in one box. And I count that stuff we've already been through. Got your little uh, kitchen appliance, water kettle, tablecloths. Got a comforter set, and we got another Lego set. He's $39.99. So we've done a couple boxes. So we've got furniture, soft goods, electronics, toys, clothing. Health and beauty, we're already getting variety. Soft good, soft good. Flannel sheet sets, you got nine sheet sets in that, $29.99. Also in this box, you got some more clothes. And a lot of these clothes, a lot of people hate clothes, but if you're going to flea markets and yard sales and that kind of stuff, stick your clothes up there and put two, three bucks a piece on brand new, because most of the clothes you're gonna get from Target are gonna be brand new with tags. Like they clearance this product out at $9.99, originally from $19.99, and you should be able to sell these all day long at that price. Good here. All right, so let's get a light box. Pillows, you get a lot of pillows in Target. You got some more clothes. Like I said, if you don't like clothes, stay away from Target, because you're gonna get a lot of clothes. You're gonna get a lot of mix, but you're gonna get a lot of clothes. So here's a jacket Target had. Originally, see if I can find a price on this thing. Original price $45. You got another couple jackets right here. These jackets were originally $45. And you've got one, two, three. All right, here we go. Last box. All set towel. You got pillows. You got clothes. You've got soft goods. Pillow Fort's a Target brand too. So we see Pillow Fort, that's a Target brand they use on a lot of their uh, soft good products. You got bath rubs. You got bras. You got your undergarments. You got socks. Clothes, clothes, more clothes. 
All right, so we got ready to close out of that pallet. Like I said, a lot of clothes in Target. All right, you got some board games, Cards Against Humanity. It looks like it sells for about 20 bucks. So there's a 15, 20 dollar eBay item. You got some Philips Sonicare toothbrush heads. One, two, three, four, five. Five of them, so five at 10 is 50 bucks right there. Got a little vacuum, dust cleaner vacuum. We've got some windshield wipers, Rain-X. Threshold cocktail glasses. More Sonic Care toothbrush heads. Got a couple of umbrellas. Baby blanket. And the last box is a mystery because it's taped up. So let's see what we got. Mystery. It's not a mystery anymore. Hand sanitizer. A whole box of disposable hand sanitizers. So that is a Target Raw or Manifesto palette. Not everyone's gonna be the same, not everyone's gonna have the same stuff, but it's gonna have a wide variety of Target. As you can see, you know, if you were to buy a palette for 650 right there, you'd have made money. If you had bought, you know, we gave you a multi-palette discount and you bought four at a time, and we gave you the $75 off each palette, because you bought four at a time, and got that palette for 575, it's even a better money maker. So you can make money on that palette very easily. Um, there's hundreds and hundreds of pieces on these Target Raw and process. Just be careful who you're buying from in the liquidation business. That there's a lot of good sellers out there. There's a lot of bad sellers out there. The problem is some people's first experience is with a bad seller. And when I say a bad seller, someone that will not share the knowledge with you, any business that won't share the knowledge with you, of course, no liquidation business is gonna say, hey, here's my contract holder. Here's who to call. Because that takes time to get them. Time and a lot of money. But we will show, you know, people like me will share how to be successful in this business. We want repeat customers. The customers that start off buying one pallet every month turn into customers that buy 10 pallets every week. That's what we want. They turn into truckload buyers. All right, so anybody that will not share and help you succeed in your growth that just cares about that dollar and then you're out and they don't care if you come back or not, they're not long-term players. We're in a long-term business. I want my customers to make money. I want them to be successful. Um, and we'll share knowledge with you. I'll tell you what I know about these loads. And the loads we bring in are loads I'm very comfortable with. I've done for years. Before we started selling to the public, we used to break these loads down. Now we pretty much changed our business and we're just volume sellers. We're selling by the power, we're selling by the truckload. You know, the first thing I ask my new customers when they come in, I say, well, what kind of platform do you sell on? How do you sell your product? How do you like to sell your product? Are you a reseller? Are you a homeowner that's just looking for, you know, certain items and then maybe sell the rest and make some money back? Um, that's a question that any power liquidation business should be asking you first. If they've never met you, talk to you, hey, how do you sell? Oh, I strictly sell online. Okay, well, maybe if you strictly sell online, you know, the Home Depot bulk loads are not gonna work for you because it's all big items. You know, I just sell a marketplace. I sell a wide variety. You know, get to know your customers, find out what they're, and, and meet their needs. Uh, so that's a target rolling process. And these pallets we sell them for, um, 650 a pallet, Devil Dog Treasure Hunters, 102 Calvary Street, East of Maryland. We sell pallets, we sell truckloads. Feel free to give us a call. You don't have to be a buyer to call us. Just call us if you've got questions. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you.